which is the better artificial intelligence stock to buy microsoft or alphabet of course microsoft has invested in OpenAI, the creator in chat gpt and that's infusing microsoft's products with artificial intelligence alphabet responding to microsoft launch of its artificial intelligence programs and platforms launched its own program called Bard and investors were underwhelmed with that presentation and micro alphabet stock fell seven to eight percent following that announcement as investors and the market was kind of like hmm that's what you have in response to chat GPT and so it was a little bit underwhelming still longer term they both are viable competitors in the artificial intelligence field, despite perhaps maybe the slower um, out of the gate launch of Alphabet. So let's take a look at these two stocks and answer which one is the better AI stock to buy. I'm going to look at uh, four or five different metrics to answer that question. So let's start with revenue growth and looking back to 2014 quarterly revenue growth. Uh, they've been pretty much uh, equal with Alphabet having the advantage, I would say, uh, a slight advantage in terms of revenue growth in this time period. You could see it taking the lead for several quarters in ahead. And in fact, I would say its lead is not slight in further look. It's, it's a pretty reasonable advantage in terms of longer term revenue growth. The next metric I wanted to look at is the operating profit margin for the trailing 12 months going back the same time. And in this metric, Microsoft has an astounding advantage uh, the entire time, unquestionable lead in terms of operating profit margin in the trailing 12 months, an impressive 40.58% operating profit margin, way ahead of Alphabet's 26.46%. And in my opinion, operating profit margin is a more important metric than revenue growth. The next metric I wanted to look at is cash flow from operations in the trailing 12 months. And in this metric, they are also very close with Alphabet looks like taking a lead in this regard with uh, cash from operations 91.5 billion compared to 84.39 billion from Microsoft cash flow from operations. And uh, also in terms of growth, you see Alphabet's growth trajectory has been higher in recent uh, years uh, compared to Microsoft. Uh, so a, a slight advantage to Alphabet here in terms of cash flow from operations. Although both companies truly impressive in terms of their cash flow from operations, nothing to complain about when your investment is bringing in $84.4 billion in cash flow from operations in a single 12 month period. The next metric I wanted to look at is total assets because I all, all else equal, I prefer a company with lower amount of total assets generating higher cash flow, higher profits. And in this case, it's it's just about a tie. Both companies at three near $365 billion in total assets. And so we're comparing two companies of a similar size here. Uh, however, looking at long-term debt, uh, Microsoft has considerably more, nearly four times more long-term debt than Alphabet at 49.78 billion compared to 12.86 billion for Alphabet. In this metric, because both of these companies have such profitable businesses that generate such robust cash flows, long-term debt is not really a uh, problem here. In fact, it could be it could be an opportunity for Alphabet to increase its long-term debt because long-term debt, uh, the interest expense associated with long-term debt is tax deductible. And that after-tax cost of uh, debt is lower than uh, the cost of equity. So Alphabet can lower its weighted average cost of capital by increasing the portion of debt on its capital structure. Anyways, I don't want to get too wonky in terms of capital structure and weighted average cost of capital. I just wanted to highlight with these two companies, long-term debt is not really 
a um, risk or a troubling issue, it is more often an opportunity to just lower their cost of capital. And finally, I wanted to look at valuation uh, using the price to free cash flow on top. Microsoft is more expensive at a 33.94 uh, price to free cash flow compared to Alphabet at a price to free cash flow of 21.86. Similarly, looking at the forward PE ratio, Microsoft trading at 28.87 compared to 19.58 for Alphabet. And uh, so uh, across both metrics, Microsoft is about 50% more expensive than Alphabet stock using these metrics. And so, uh, and, and yes, I do agree that Microsoft deserves a premium valuation because of its superior operating margin. Um, however, I don't believe that it deserves a more than 50% premium valuation as is as it's trading at right now. And so because of that, it, this is very close. These are two excellent companies. Um, I have these two companies both rated as stocks to buy. And so if you had $1,000 to invest and you're thinking about which one of these two to buy, instead of trying to pick just one, I would recommend just split that in half and buy both of them. But if you had to pick just one, I would say, I'm gonna say Alphabet is the better buy here because of the significant discounted uh, valuation compared to Microsoft. All right, that's what I've got for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.